What's going on everyone? Today I'm outside and I'm gonna do a quick video of all the mods that my wife has done to her Honda Rebel 500. This is a 2020 Honda Rebel 500. And I've gotten a few questions on some of my videos about some of the mods and where I got them. So let's go over them. All right, so first let's go over some of the uh, T-Rex items. So we got these uh, T-Rex spools they just uh, bolt onto the swing arm and allow you to use a track stand to lift up the rear tire to do chain maintenance and things like that. We also got this exhaust slider from T-Rex Racing and most importantly the engine guard from T-Rex Racing. The exhaust sliders are like 35 bucks, the track stand spools are 75 bucks and I think this, um, let me just look, yeah, 175 for the uh, engine guard which is definitely a big plus because she's already dropped her bike twice and this has definitely helped save some parts uh, what else next let's look at the Vance and Hines exhaust I think this is about five or six hundred bucks I don't remember what but it sounds great um, it uh, really adds a nice uh, kind of loud rumble to the bike uh, she really does like the sound of that exhaust uh, the um, these brown leather like saddlebags there's one on each side they're not very large they can hold maybe like two full-size water bottles in each one but you could throw like your wallet cell phone um, pack of tissues anything like that could fit down in those bags those are leather got them on Amazon and they cost I don't know gotta look at my notes here Oh, those are 164 bucks. The other thing that she's done so far is put on the cell phone charger. This SAE charger comes with the green part, which is the charger and the red cable, which is long enough to reach back to the battery. The nice thing about this one is it has two USB um, cables or for charging. You could charge two things at once. And then she just has this long uh, cable here that plugs right into her phone and she connects her phone oh that's about like 15 bucks on Amazon and then she connects her phone to the quad lock system which is about 70 bucks you can adjust it in all different locations but that seems to be the the most convenient and easiest spot to use on the rebel 500 and that's great uh, it really holds the phone nice and secure then moving on to the thing that she just got that she loves it's her new seat from Corbin I did a video on that super comfortable she just went on her first really long ride uh, with a couple of friends for international female ride day and uh, yeah she said it was really comfortable the whole time and the nice thing is you can customize it a little bit she got the red stitching on the seat and the red logo on the side and I think they could also put in other logos if you had one it's like 500 bucks she also got this rack that she uh, used for her trip, which is really uh, a very nice rack. Got that on Amazon also, was uh, $102. Um, but it's it's a very secure, it bolts onto the side. So the problem was that she had another rack before that. And I will show you what that one looks like. This one I was like, I don't remember how much it was, cheap on Amazon. And it bolts on like this onto the fender, but you can see that the um, the seat covers over one of the bolts. So we couldn't use this rack, so she had to find a new one. And the new one that she found is actually very nice, super secure, and she used this bag, kind of like this. This is the Krieger 30 liter, 30 cubic liters. Um, they make a 10, a 20, a 30. I think they might even make a five. The Krieger system is really nice because it is uh, waterproof and you can attach other bags to the top of it. So if she had a 20 or a 10, that could go right up here and just give a little bit more uh, storage capacity. The nice thing about this too is on the bottom, it's not waterproof because it's in this mesh pouch. She just puts her um, rain gear in there. And then when you're riding, if you need to get to it, you can just unzip it from the side here and get right into it. Uh, but this is how it fit on the back of the bike just like that 
Uh, it comes with some really nice straps that just strap right onto the rack here and it was super secure. Once we had it cinched down, it wasn't going to move anywhere. She had no problems with it for her ride. This red on her wheels, it's just some kind of reflective tape. It was cheap, 10 bucks on Amazon, but it's not really that great. I, it, doesn't, it doesn't fit perfectly to the, to the rim. So I had to do some cutting and some modifications and you can see that there's like little uh, imperfections and bubbles in it, but she likes it. It does add a little bit to the bike. Let's see what's next. Uh, oh yeah, tank pad. So she wanted to get some kind of like little decoration on the tank. So she found this um, 25 bucks on Amazon. It's actually pretty cool. It's like this red, like guardian angel looking person, but it is cool. Um, oh yeah, that other rack was called Mad Hornets. It was 65 bucks on Amazon. And let's see, I think that may be all that she's done to her bike so far. Uh, she's always planning on doing other things to it. So uh, we'll make some videos about that. A lot of the things I installed on here, there are videos on my channel. And one other thing, when she was riding this past trip with her friends, she did manage to drop her bike or kind of crash a little bit in the parking lot of the gas station. She's not really quite sure what happened. She just knows she was turning and the next thing she was on the ground and the clutch lever snapped off or the end of the clutch lever snapped off, which is no big deal because it can be replaced easily. The handlebar's a little scraped up and the, the mirror's a little scraped up and uh, she didn't get hurt, which was a good thing. And uh, this bike does have anti-lock brakes, so I don't think it was a question of like hitting um, sand in the parking lot or dirt or oil or something. I think what happened was the way she described it is it was just a very slow speed turn. And I just think she overturned the front wheel. And uh, just once it started to go, she kind of just fell over. But snapped off the lever, but no real big deal because now she's already looking into uh, what kind of cool custom levers she could replace that with. So uh, everything has a silver lining, I guess. Anyway, this is her Honda Rebel 500 2020. Those are the mods. I'm out here in the rain and it's getting all wet and she's going to be mad when she watches this video and yells at me for putting her bike in the rain because this is her precious little baby. So I better go and put it in the garage before I get in really big trouble. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, maybe subscribe to my channel. Give a thumbs up to this video if you learned anything that helped you. And uh, hopefully I'll see you out on the road. Thanks for watching.